Hello everyone and welcome to a new compliance session. In today's presentation, we're going to assess business compliance risk based on the unauthorized running software. This can be achieved by using the latest topology policy or simply called service policy. First, let's have a look on the services. Here we can observe that some services have two SQL server related. In our deployment model, we should have two of them. Now we are going to create a compliance report. First, we need to select our services as a main query. Once we did this, we're going to create a policy that will ensure that we use authorized version of Postgres SQL and SQL Server, and that we also have two SQL servers related to each service. First, let's add the CI types on the map and, and draw the relationship between them. After we created our topology for the policy, we're going to add some condition for our running software. In this case, we're going to use the version attribute. After we define the condition for our running software, we'll also mention the cardinality for the SQL server. Our policy is now complete and we can save it in order to reuse it a little bit later. This policy can be used multiple times, so you will not, be, you, you will not need to recreate it when you want to, to use it. We will continue our compliance report by applying the policy and also have a preview of the results. You can see that we also we already have for non-compliant services. We are going to finish our compliance report by creating a compliance widget on our home screen. From the home screen we can open the compliance report and we can see that we also have four non-compliant items, so four non-compliant services. Now, as you can see, these services do not comply with our policies as the related software breaches the condition we set on the software or the defined topology. In order to better demonstrate this, non-compliant service, we're going to recreate the topology and have a look on their attached running software. Here you can see that the version does not match our condition.
compliance report also has a textual component that allows us to understand a little bit better the reason of why a particular service is non-compliant and also allows us to export the results. Here in the results, we can see compliant and non-compliant services and also the reason for not matching the compliance. Thanks for watching this.